God. What happened to the good old days when people refused to play for drag? <laughs> now look at you, you suckers. <laughs> Since uh, so I, I think I was 14, and I was I went to a marriage school, and I was catching my bus, and it's really. I bet you they were really pleased with the way you turned out. <laughs> <laughs> You may have seen Edward Tuck. <laughs> oh, you haven't? Because you don't want your bits hanging out. So I guess uh, I thought it's better to do that. I put on five pairs of tucky panties, two G strings, and two pairs of um, other undies. You know, I'm an extra large, but I have to wear extra small. I'm an extra I could go all night without going for a piggy, which is amazing, considering how much champagne I drink. You're like the camel of drag, aren't you? <laughs> Oh, a three-month drag camel with a fabulous side. Those of us who are physically challenged and had a bit of a gut, I'm going to show you how to get rid of that gut with a little bit of help from the house of Priscilla calls the tree. <gasps> Somebody typed it overnight! <laughs> this looks like a rubbish bag of the money. I don't believe it. Hey, can you breathe? <laughs> what? Is there any doctors breathe? in the house? Sydney though, there were no brown girls on the drag scene, yeah. and Priscilla had just come out, and everyone was looking for the brown drag queens to do the Aboriginal role. <laughs> That's what they just redo. Well, well, at least they didn't want you to be the bus. <laughs> Priscilla was the bus after all. <laughs> you know what? We had a format to stick to, and none of us had it.